Hello students, we are solving the IB Math A AGL past papers and currently we are solving the IB Math A AGL November 2021 paper 2. And today we will be solving the question number 8 of this paper. You will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of this paper and of the other papers in form of playlists in the description area. So without any further delay, let us start answering question number 8. The maximum mark is 8 and it says consider the curve C given by y equals x minus x times y times ln of x times y where x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. So part A says show that dy dx plus x times dy dx plus y whole multiplied by 1 plus ln of xy equal to 1 and it contains 3 marks. So this is a case of an implicit differentiation. We have to differentiate this equation. So let us start. Subpart A. Y when differentiated with respect to x is dy dx equal to x differentiated with respect to x is 1 minus now, this one will be the product rule. There is x, there is y, and there is ln of x times y. Means it is u times v times w. Okay. So, we will be using the product rule. First, let us we go step by step from left to right. So, I am differentiating the x first. So, this is minus y ln of xy. Next, I am differentiating the y. So, it is minus x ln of xy and derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. And finally, I will be differentiating the ln of xy part. So, this is minus xy times 1 over xy and then I have to differentiate the xy using the product rule. So, it is if I differentiate x, I will be having only y because the derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So, it is y plus x times dy dx. Okay. Fine, now we have to come to this form. Okay, fine. Um, we have to group the terms. So I'm seeing this is ln of xy and this is ln of xy. So why not group these two terms? Because this one is there, this one will be staying on this side. So I write this as 1 and then minus ln of xy is taken as common. And it is, uh, they have written this first, so I am writing this first, x, ln of xy rather. And this is x dy dx. This is plus y. Okay. And these two will be getting cancelled. And this is actually minus. Since this is written first, I am writing this first. So this is x dy dx plus y. Okay. And now I can take this part common. So this is equal to 1 minus x dy dx plus y. And from here, I am having ln of xy and from here I will be having only 1. So 1 is written first, so I am writing 1 first. I am taking this term first, so it is 1. And from this term I am having ln of xy. Okay. And now I will be taking this whole thing to the left side or rather I am adding this part to both the sides, okay. So, I have 
this implies dy dx plus x times dy dx plus y and 1 plus ln of xy equal to 1. Okay? Shown. Now we come to subpart B. Hence, find the equation of the tangent to C, this one, at the point where x equal to 1. Okay. First of all, we have to get the coordinates of the point. x equal to 1, the x coordinate is known. What is the y coordinate? Okay. So, if we substitute 1 in this equation, we get y equal to 1 minus 1 times y is y. And ln of 1 times y is y. So, y times ln of y. The equation is y equals 1 minus y times ln of y. And if you think that uh, it is not solvable by you, you have to use the calculator. Of course, you can use the calculator. Let us first of all find the y value using the calculator. Okay. So, I can go for n solve, algebra n solve, and let us see the equation once more. Y equals 1 minus y times ln of y. Y equals 1 minus y times ln of y. Okay, and then we have to declare the variable which is y. Okay, and then enter. See, we are having the y value as 1. So, this gives us the y value as 1. Therefore, the point is 1, 1. Okay? Fine. So, we come to the subpart B and we have got the point as 1, 1 and now we have to get the dy dx value. Okay? So, I'll be substituting in this equation. It is dy dx plus x is 1 to dy dx plus 1. And this is 1 plus ln of 1 times 1 is 1 equal to 1. Okay. Fine. So ln of 1 is equal to 0. And dy dx plus 1 times 1 is dy dx plus 1. So this is equal to dy dx plus dy dx plus 1 equal to 1. So, these two can get cancelled, which gives us 2 times dy dx is equal to 0 or dy dx is equal to 0. Is the gradient is equal to 0, that means the line, the tangent will be parallel to the x-axis. Okay? So, it will be a line parallel to the x-axis and it will be moving through this point 1, 1. So, what will be the equation of a line? Therefore, the equation of the tangent with gradient 0 and with and which passes to
one comma one point is y equals one. Okay, so this is the equation of the tangent y equals one. This is parallel to the x-axis, hence its gradient is equal to zero, and this is passing through the point one comma one because whatever may be the x value, the y value will be equal to one. Hence, it will be passing through the point x equal one comma one. It will be passing through the point two comma one. It will be passing through every x value where the y value is equal to one. For points which is which are having the y coordinate as one. It will be passing through all those points. Okay. So we have completed answering question number eight completely. And thank you for staying with me till the end. I'm Nilanjana Sanyal. I am an online IB Math EASL and IB Math EHL tutor. I tutor uh, students from both inside India and outside India. And uh, Thank you for staying with me till the end. Uh, please give this video a like if you like my explanation. And please share this video with your friends so that they also can be benefited by watching this video. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. These things will be motivating me to make more math videos for you. And uh, Please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be getting notified as soon as I publish a new video. Okay? And we meet again very soon in our next session where we will be solving question number 9 of the same paper. So, till then, bye.